Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Noah Gregson's Wendy's Biggie Bag Chevy for 2023. So always take a look at the box. You just have the generic NASCAR 75th anniversary box here. Sunoco Rookie Contender logo down there. Got to render the car right there. Legacy Motor Club. Made total 564 of these things. NASCAR Cup Series, standard finish, NASCAR 75th anniversary, register your car, copyright, and all that good stuff all around the box. Here is the car itself. This was number two of three of the Wendy's paint schemes this year. This one ran at Talladega. It was kind of cool they brought that back to Talladega because if you remember the first Wendy's race was in the 62 Beard car, and it was also a biggie bag car. So bringing back the biggie bag car for Talladega again was a nice touch. This one is a pretty solid paint scheme. I think I do like this better than the Daytona 500 paint scheme. But it's definitely, I do like the Baconator car the best out of all three of those. I did get that car too. You will be seeing a review on the Baconator car at some point. This one is a matte finish car. This one still does have some of the forced uh, legacy stuff, which does hurt. But Hopefully they stop that this year. I believe that, uh, that Advent Health paint scheme they revealed. I don't think that one had the, you know, black A post and C post and all that and the black around the bottom as much or the golden black around the bottom. I don't know. Now that I said that, I'm sure that was just a test car and the real car will have it or something stupid, but who knows. Noah Gregson X did pretty well in this race. This is probably his best race up until it wasn't of his whole season. He was up in like the top five on a late race restart and got hit by somebody I forgot exactly, was it Chastain? I think like Chastain might have squeezed under him and spun him out or something. I forget exactly what happened, but I know he was in the top five and then wrecked. But definitely a cool paint scheme. One thing to point out is like they actually made this, I don't know if it's coming across, the white on the front is made to look like a biggie bag. Like it's all creased and like it's made to look like paper. That is a really cool touch. We do not see fun stuff like that on paint schemes very often anymore. It's one of those cars that like some people pick up and think their car is like wrong, they think it's like flawed, like that's like a bunch of like the wrap coming up or something, but no, it's meant to look like that. It's meant to look like a biggie bag. So that's really cool. Anyways, on the hood, you have a picture of Wendy right there. Got biggie bag, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, number 42 and Legacy Motor Club. Down the side, you got a hamburger, you got a Coke, and you got some fries and some chicken nuggets. All the stuff you can get in a biggie bag. That really just reminds me so much of that Steve Park Burger King car where you had like the Coke, the fries, and the burger on the back right there. It is really cool to see that again. I said I love when teams and sponsors put the product on the car. Some people seem to hate it for some reason, but I've always loved it. Like that looks really cool to have, you know, all, those, all that food and the drinks and stuff on the side of the car. Like, I love that. I don't know. I know some people are, like, weird about photos and, like, products on the car, but I've always wanted photos and products on the car. Got Wendy's. You got high-performance lubricants, SEM, Mac Tools, and Safety Clean. Regular contingencies and such up front. Rookie of the Year Contender logo. As the, the you see, the wrap didn't really uh, set the right way around the uh, wheel well there. That's a shame. Got Sunseeker Resort on the C post. On the B post, you have Legacy Motor Club, Black Rifle Coffee Company, Wendy's, and Arrowhead Bass. Noah Gregson's name with his logo on the side. On the back, you have Legacy Motor Club, Chevrolet Camaro, number 42. The beef is in the bag. Got your rookie stripes back there, too. This does have the big uh, Super Speedway spoiler. Lionel has been doing that, where instead of using that updated spoiler, they've actually been bringing back this big one for any Super Speedway cars. Kudos to Lionel on that one. I will definitely always give them credit when they pull out some extra details and extra accuracy. On the deck lid, you have Bet on Biggie. And on the roof, you have Wendy's. There you can see where the top of the bag would open right there. Is that really cool theming? This is number 254. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. So you just have a Chevy bow tie under there. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Obviously no deck lid, the roof flaps of course do open, and there's the inner side of the car if you want to see that. It does have the Rookie of the Year Contender logo on the base again. Just a cool special paint scheme. Like I said, I really hope that Wendy's isn't gone now because of the Noah Gregson thing. Like, they don't seem to have a logo on that advanced, or the uh, 
Advent Health painting for Eric Jones, so that's a shame, but maybe they'll be on the 42 with Nemechek? I said, I don't, I feel like Wendy's is the kind of company that isn't going to follow him to Stuart Haas Racing, just because, like, Wendy's is one of those that's, like, probably worried about bad PR, compared to, like, you know, it seems like so far his sponsors are probably going to be, like, Bass Pro Shops and Black Rifle Coffee. They still, as of recording this video, have not revealed a single sponsor for Noah Gregson in the 10 car last year. Or, why do you say last year? Next year? This year? They finally, you know, it took them until, like, December to actually unveil, like, Noah Gregson's in the 10 car this year, but... They've very much not been showing off sponsorship so far. The only sponsors we've seen so far has been Chase Briscoe's, because they showed off his hauler, and it has basically most of the same paints, the uh, sponsors from this year. And then we've only ever seen, like, that uh, Josh Berry has a Sunny D car for Daytona in the Clash. So that's at least one sponsor that came back. But uh, they updated their website, and they lost, like, eight or nine sponsors from 2023. Somebody, like, in Reddit, like, broke it down, and it was, like, 66 races worth of sponsorship they've lost. So, yikes. But anyways, we're not talking about Sturt today. We were talking about Legacy Motor Club who, you know, is going to Toyota, and they claim they're going to be much better at Toyota, so we'll just have to wait to see on that one. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. I don't know what these Wendy's cars are going to do this year. Right now, they probably won't, you know, disappear too quickly, but if Noah Gregson, you know, starts winning his Stuart Haas and starts being good again, some of these cars might start to disappear a little. Especially as popular as a sponsor like Wendy's is. I believe his original 62 car got rare, so... Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. Let's go check that if you want anything. But I think that's all there is to say. This has been a review of Noah Gregson's Wendy's Biggie Bag Chevy from 2023. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.